hello guys welcome to my another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can upload image in my SQLi database using PHP right so this is our demo a demo project I have developed in PHP and my SQLi database so I click on browse image then I am able to store the image on my database for example I search first I insert the maximum 1 MB image this image size is uh, more than 1.7 MB so I open this image and click to update I can't store because this image size is too large I go back and I click browse image I store for example another extension image or file I click update I can't store image on my database and finally I select the small size image I can do that I just uh, need to s uh, find the image guys for example this image upload now guys I have already stored the image like JavaScript validation form in this time I have stored this image and I go to localhost PHP my admin and I find my database PHP tutorials and this is a my table in this table have another image like how to use font always some icons in bootstrap and I go to my basically image folder in this folder have another image like uh, how to use font always some icon so guys I will teach you how you can create a simple project like upload image in the database and use validation like uh, check the file extension size of the image and and uh, use uh, button click ADC right so guys I go to my HD doc folder and create a folder I write the folder name um, image image tutorial right image tutorials inside this image I guys uh, stored uh, the two folders and one file I will remove the whole code I just tell you how you can do that and I remove the files I mean images and under the CSS file have a one bootstrap file right and I open my code editor and I go to my folder remove it okay this is my folder I drag and drop the folder on the code editor the code editor name is visual code visual studio code I open index.html I mean PHP I remove the whole code I will teach you from scratch right okay uh, under the image folder you can't see any image and under the CSS folder have a one CSS file right so guys and another thing is I remove the database I mean um, files using query truncate table image because I use the same um, database and uh, table go and under the image have uh, two columns the first column is uh, ID and type of the column integer and second is image and type of the watcher right watcher and I used 400 value or size of the characters which is stored on the image okay so guys let's get start to understand how we can upload the image in the database so first of all I open this folder this file on um, ph image I am tutorial 
magic door this is our blank uh, empty project right so first of all I write the day and I assign the class container dear class row call row and under this div I make uh, another div and class call, uh, card and under the card um, I use basically h3 float match on database and I need to use uh, m auto to display the card on the center and after this div I make uh, another div under this div I make uh, another div basically I make a div class card body under the card body div I make a label and assign the class btn btn primary and btn file ok under this level tag I use input field and type file and use name image ok and I use upload image save it open the browser of the page ok upload image ok just a minute I check the okay, style display none so that right this is our button I click it and I read out on my computer I am able to select the image but this project doesn't work on this time okay first I um, set up the design I use margin call LG6 uh, let's check it okay that's great and I use margin top 5 and where is the heading tag I use margin top and bottom top bottom and Y top bottom those are CSS I mean uh, classes uh, which use to design the web websites and forms and any other web application why I use padding top and bottom okay I just need to use padding left four and py3 okay now one more thing we need to do is button I use button upload image now upload now that's okay but I use basically guys PR tag and I assign the classes btn btn success and let's check, check it okay and I use name btn upload just a right upload button right but we need to use form so I cut the code and create a form I use mm, action process.php and I use method post under the form 
I paste the code ok and this is very simple right but we need to use another attribute and the attribute name is ink type I use ink type multi multi part backslash form data because I will store the image and also name okay so we need to use multi part slash form data now we need to create a connection and I create a file and enter the file name connection.php I use con equal to mysql I underscore connect first parameter is local host second is root third is blank and fourth is your database name my database name is php tutorials let's check it guys php tutorials right this is a php tutorials database now the next is i call if not actual con then display the message that connection error and i call concatenation sign my sql i error method error terminator sign okay if our connection is not stable then display the message connection error right now we need to make another file process.php so i click create a file process.php inside the file i need to use basic syntax of php and we need to use if statement and call set dollar underscore post if anyone user click on the button then i call where is the button name here this is the button name you need to call the button name paste it and use the condition if anyone user click on the button then run the if body otherwise display or uh, run the statement else statement i use please mm, upload image now right save it okay for example i directly open process.php please upload image now right but i want to redirect on the same page i call header location index.php right save it and open the browser and i do not click on the button i directly open the process.php file i can't do that right this is a best way to redirect with uh, the same page without uh, clicking on the button anyone user directly open your another page then who will read out on the first page or another page okay so first of all we have used condition if condition and else condition in the if condition you need to get the value from your file okay so first of all i write the file i use dollar underscore image this is my variable name and I use dialog underscore files okay brackets inside this single quotation you need to pass the name of the file okay input type file and name is image you need to pass the image and I call echo I need to use print or I will tell you guys print or image I want to display the image behavior okay save it and open the browser I fill the page and I upload the image for example I select this image upload it now this is our image behavior you need to pass the whole parameters right what is the parameters the first parameter is guys your name your image name your image name is this okay and type 
what is type of the image your image type is your folder name your type of the image okay now third is temp name the temp name is uh, your image temporary name something like that right and finally is image size 9470 okay so first of all you need to use another bracket inside the single quotation you need to pass the first parameter like name copy that and paste it now then you need to make another variable enter the any name and use same process dollar underscore file and image this is a input field name this name okay and now the next is use bracket and double quotation in the double quotation you need to pass the second parameter like type just a minute I where is the type okay type I just change the mm, image uh, variable name type okay third is temp temp dollar underscore files image and temp tmp name okay now I will show you guys temp name I use same parameters right this is a temp name and this is a type this is a name and we need to use another parameter like size if you will use conditions okay mm, what is problem now on here temp and all in school files image underscore name okay, okay. Uh, size dollar underscore files image size okay we have successfully got the each behavior which used to store the image in the database like image image name image type image temporary name and image size right so we need to use conditions the first condition is you need to use um, create a variable for example I write the variable name mm, image I use image extension okay and I call explode function inside the function we need to use single quotation and write the dot sign and you need to use comma and pass this variable in this variable have a image just know the image this is the example right guys this variable will get the image and also name okay I use image extension variable and I uh, use uh, basically method in the method I use dot sign and the image variable if our image or uh, another file dot another extension I will show you guys just a minute I call a low extension and I call str lower str to lower and call and this is a functions guys inside the end function I use basically this image variable so that right now the next thing is you need to use type of the image which image you want to store on the database so I use a low variable and I call array inside the array I call jpg comma jpg comma png those image will store on the database okay now the final is target I use target this is a variable in the target you need to use the folder name this folder name image so you need to pass uh, I mean use double quotation in the double quotation you need to use IMG this is your folder name and backslash sign after the backslash sign you need to write the concatenation sign or dot sign and you need to use dollar underscore image image okay it means this image will store on the folder like IMG right this is a very basic way to get the each 
data from image and use the conditions like uh, check the extension and image location which image type are allow or not okay now the next is I use if statement and I call n underscore array and I use the uh, I mean pass the two parameter the first parameter is allow extension and second is allow allow extension variable will get the image dot image and allow variable will get the type of the image okay use split brackets and I use else statement and I call the echo statement your ext image file or image extension doesn't you can't store to store the store the image Please upload an other type of image. Okay, in the if body, I will use another. Uh, I mean, if statement in the if statement, I will uh, check the size. I call the dollar underscore size variable less than ten lakh. Ten lakh means one MB. I will show you guys. I go to google.com I use 10 lakh means 10 lakh bytes I call byte convert to MB okay this is a byte number and this is a megabyte means MB I call 10 lakh 10 yeah, this is a 10 lock I think 10 lock or another um, numbers I think okay I should use uh, the numbers okay okay if our image size is less than to those numbers okay then come into the if body otherwise I call else statement and I display the message copy that where is I copy that and paste here and I use you can't store the I just write the image size is too large okay size is too large okay inside the if body I need to use the simple query to store the image on the database first of all I use dollar underscore query I use query insert into image this is a table name and this is your database I mean column name the column name also image and I use values parenthesis single quotation in the single quotation you need to pass the variable image okay and finally you need to write the terminator sign then you need to call result and my skill i query and call the connection variable and the query okay now we need to include the file connection file require once connection.ph because I will use uh, queries to store the data in the database so guys I use uh, insert into image values the variable name and I call result my skill I query con query okay then we need to use um, if I just write the I think I need to use if statement okay I do not use guys uh, if body I mean if statement again but but I just write the MySQL I query 
and I pass the con and query and I need to use a uh, guys my SQL move upload file and I call the dollar underscore temp and target it means if I close that we will uh, use the project and uh, we will be able to store the image in the database but we need to move the image in our folder so we need to use move upload files okay under the uh, parenthesis you need to pass two parameters the first is your image name and second is the target of the image I have already declared the target variable on a bow and assign the image folder name and also image so I just tell you how you can do that I command it and I op open my project and go to back upload first of all I use large image image size is too large I upload the basically another extension image uh, a file sorry you can't restore the image please type uh, upload another image okay finally I upload the image for example less than 1 MB okay now you can see a process.php okay I go to my database now guys you can see it. the image has been stored in the database I go to my image folder you can't see the image why because I need to use the move plot folder let's check again guys I need to use another your image successfully upload it, upload it on the database okay save that and open the browser go back upload image and uh, where is the image where is the image I find the image guys mm, I just use upload humor image has been uploaded on the database let's check it okay how to use font and where's some second image I go to my folder and then you are able to see guys the image has been stored on the folder and also database so this video all about how you can use um, the image process and now another thing guys another thing is very important I want to display this image on my browser so we need to use uh, I just write the another another file and I use display.php right and I copy the whole code and paste here I just need to remove the basically okay I just uh, copy the index.php files because I use same designing okay and I close the form tag and inside the code body your your database images are okay now under the body I use guys if and I call the first of all I use uh, go to process.php and I call the function header I don't use this I just call the header location display.php and I make a global variable success get variable right success I call success if set dollar underscore get if anyone use use I mean uh, display the success message I mean the image process has been successfully uploaded then redirect on this page on this page first of all I use else statement I call the header function 
and when you use it directly open the this page then who will redirect on the index.php right this is very simple okay now in the if statement I want to display the image right so first of all you need to write the query the query is select static from img I mean image we need to include the connection so I use once underscore require require underscore once connection.php this is for connection file name right guys here you can see it now the first step is write the query select static from image now the next is call result this is a variable and call mysql i query and call the connection variable and query second parameter right now then you need to use uh, the while dollar underscore row I just write the but I need to use uh, the variable name I just write the row equal to my scale i underscore fetch underscore associate fetch associate under this parenthesis I pass the result variable and use scale brackets okay so we need to use this variable to get the image so I use dollar underscore image this is a variable name and I call dollar underscore row bracket and I call this variable I need to use basically database name I mean image column name img image okay. the whole image will store on this variable okay each time each image will store on this variable so we need to use this image to display on the database I, I mean display on the browser so after the after this I close the if I mean PHP I close the PHP tag on here and I starting the PHP code here I need to use the for example I want to display the image so I call IMG SRC source you need to use the folder name the folder name is IMG and use backslash sign and I call PHP and this variable okay echo this variable okay you need to use terminator sign and I will use but guys about step classes like class mm, margin I just write the image rounded rounded circle okay and I assign the size with 200 height 300 you can write any size I mean any size of the image or what any size of the image okay after this store the image and display the image on the database so guys this is our project I upload it I select another file or another image uh, like uh, this this upload okay this is our success message and this is our image this image is stored on the database okay let's check it but I can't see the last one image and uh, I think first image okay I can't see okay the first image uh, doesn't appear on the uh, I mean folder okay let's try again another image I want to upload another image another image uh, I think I use this image 
okay this image okay don't focus on those image because the first image we have just used without a move file upload function and this image is I think uh, this image is um, I think the extension uh, problems so don't focus on this image okay I, I use truncate truncate table and image and I click go okay and uh, I go to my image folder and I remove the whole images okay upload image and I upload this image okay and this image also stored on the uh, image folder and this image available on the database okay and I go to a back and I upload another image like Google text okay now you can see guys I upload another image for meditation okay now all images are available in your image folder so this video all about how you can upload image in the database and how you can display the image on the browser so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice day guys